guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in the hills and mountains of Bozeman, Montana. And guess what we're here for? It's this right here. This is the all new 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. But guess what? We're going even bigger. This is the Grand Wagoneer L. And this particular one is the Obsidian package trim. But before we get into this series two, of Jeep's now largest SUV. Let's talk about what's going on here. The Grand Wagoneer. It's been around since the 1960s, if you could believe that. It was all about having that ultimate space, four by four off-road capability. Heck, they were even one of the first to put leather premium interior trims and the good old fashioned CB radio. Fast forward to the 21st century. Jeep is doing things a lot differently. Yes, they still got their Wrangler, that bread and butter basis of their cult following, but you know what? They went big and they went luxurious, not only with the Grand Wagoneer, but also the Wagoneer, taking that name, taking that lineage and that connection and bringing it into something new. Now we've already brought you the Grand Wagoneer and the Wagoneer standard. But now for 2023, Jeep has decided to add some extra length. Yes, they went bigger with their full-size luxury SUV. And another nice touch is you have the Obsidian package. So what I want to find out is, is this the best new luxury SUV you should be buying? And what makes the Obsidian so special? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, you just see the dimensions. The great news is, is that when you see this, you know that there's something different, but it's not like that much bigger to where you're scared to even approach it. But let's see what we got going on at the front of the business. Now, when you go Obsidian, think about it. Obsidian rock, Obsidian glass, we're talking about black accents. So starting up front, you're gonna get, of course, standard LED headlights, everything on the interior, of the headlight housing is blacked out. There's even like this carbon fiber style design to bring a little bit of sportiness. You have that wing area that extends out towards the fender. That's been all put in a nice gloss black finish. We got LED turn signals, LED daytime running lamps, and of course the gloss black up top. Now, as we slide down, look at what we got. Not only one LED fog lamp, but three in this wonderful rectangular shape of uh, housing for those fog lamps. And of course, just like up top, to match the bigger brother, the headlights, the smaller fog lamps, all blacked out. I even like what they did in the corners here, using this textured style of design. It's not meant to look like a vent. It doesn't look like a vent, but it gives that little extra depth of something special. Now working all the way to the bottom, of course, we're gonna finish off with a little bit more gloss black and then coming across that iconic seven slotted grill. Remember the old wives tale is that Jeep was the first to be on all seven continents. And that's why we have the seven sl slotted grill on the Obsidian. You'll notice how we have the raised Wagoneer letters on this Grand Wagoneer. I like the way they did a little bit of silver on the base of each one it allows it to pop. If they wouldn't have done that, these letters would have been lost at the top of the grill. You'll also notice the very intricate design that they did all the way around the seven slotted grill. Everything gloss black. Of course, we're gonna get a forward facing camera with a washer because at the end of the day, this is a Jeep and they want you to go off-roading, maybe not rock crawling as crazy as you would in a Wrangler Rubicon, but definitely even this large L is meant to go the long distance, whether it's on-road or off-road. If you're wondering, Joe, what's the color of this, this shade of gray here? What do they call this? It's not just called gray. A lot of people think it's just called gray. It's called Baltic gray. Really has a nice metallic finish to it. A Little bit of more gloss black, and then you'll notice all the functionality, even on the lower portion. I like the way they designed this lower air intake, and look at what we got, the powder-coated black tow hooks. So right there, you know, when you compare this to other full-size luxury SUVs like a Cadillac Escalade or a Lincoln Navigator, they don't have tow hooks. This does because it's meant to do the business. Remember, we got that quadra lift 
air ride suspension. You could raise and lower your Grand Wagoneer. And of course, we got the Quadra Drive, which is that four by four off-road all-wheel drive system. Now, as we rise up to the hood, everything from the front of the vehicle to about the B pillar is same greatness of Grand Wagoneer, but I'm gonna show you some of the differences when we wrap it around. Love the bold hood, and I really like the way it just kind of waterfalls and teardrops towards the grill up top to kind of touch back on the Grand Wagoneer, you do have that ornamental design. I wish that that was a heat extractor, so I am gonna give that a half a zunk. I like the way it's black, matches everything else on the front. Would have been nice if it was actually functional, because guess what? We got some high output horsepower underneath the hood. Now, when we come around the bend on the Obsidian Package Equip Series 2, check out the wheels. Instead of just doing all black wheel, look at what they did. You actually have a Baltic gray wheel, just like the body with black inserts. Very, very nice touch. The Wagoneer badge on that center cap, that's actually acrylic glass, if you could believe that. And this is a 22 inch wheel. So you're getting a nice large size wheel, 265, excuse me, let me retract that, 285 on the width, 45 series sidewall. And like I said, we have the Quadra lift suspension and we have the Quadra drive all-wheel drive system. Another thing you'll notice since this is a Jeep is that trapezoidal shape to the fender opening. And the great news is Baltic gray is just sprayed everywhere. No flat black. So happy about that. Coming down the side, you are gonna get the gloss black mirror caps, nice large size. And because this is a Grand Wagoneer, it's automatically two-tone. When you go Grand Wagoneer, you're getting two-tone. And I think that because this is the Obsidian, it really matches well with that whole blacked out appearance. We got 360 degree cameras, the LED turn signals, even the way they did the Grand Wagoneer badge with the silver on the back portion makes it pop right off the door. And of course we got that American flag built here in the good old US of A. Lower portion, gloss black, and then my favorite part is how the automatic dropping running boards are. Watch. I like the way they come down this way rather than drop down like on a lot of other brands. It gives it such a cleaner look. Plus, that's going to be better for when you are going off-roading because it's not as low. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, tell me, tell me now. I need to know where is the L different? It all starts right here. So they actually widened. The wheelbase is seven inches longer. What's a wheelbase? That's the space between the front wheels and the rear wheels. And the Grand Wagoneer L, get ready, 12 inches of extra length in this SUV. I'm six feet tall and you can see it kind of dwarfs me a little bit, but you're gonna have a longer rear passenger door. What does that mean? That means it's gonna be easier to get in and out. You got class leading passenger volume and just wait until we get to the cargo area. But all of this is unique going from the beat pillar to the rear of the vehicle. I like the way they kept it to where there's not a bunch of ornamental stick on trim. It showcases just like the original Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer from the 60s. It showcases that wonderful sheet metal. Rear quarter window, of course, is elongated. I don't even have I don't even think windows in my house this big. So this is on this Grand Wagoneer. Gonna give you great visibility. Love the way coming to the back. You got those 12 extra inches, 12 inches. There's so many guys out there that would love to drive this vehicle just because of the 12 inches part. LED lighting, I love the way it wraps around all blacked out on the interior, just like up front. You got the gloss black around the rear quarter window. The only thing that kind of gets me is they don't have any kind of roof spoiler. Some people are not digging that. And it just, I don't know, I think it would look a little bit better with a, a, a roof spoiler because what would we do? We would get rid of this guy and have it tucked underneath. Just something to think about. Graham Wagoneer name never looked better. Look at how it just pops off from that silver, just like on the sides, just like on the front. A Little bit of gloss in the center. 
I'm really digging this Michigan plate, by the way. Never seen a Michigan plate like that. This one's pretty cool on this obsidian. And then of course, on this side, we got our Quadra Drive badge. And then that's all been blacked out. And on the passenger side, I bet you there's probably something, which on this one, they actually clear off. So normally on a Series 2, you actually have a badge. This one, remember, these are pre-production. This is the first look. First look, we're gonna be bringing you the drive and we'll tell you when. But then dropping it all the way down, the only thing I would wish that they did was you do have a cover for all your towing, and this does have best in class, of course, is that we would have had some finished exhaust. I can see the exhaust on both sides, but I would like a nice finished tip that, it, that is exposed, like a quad tip exhaust, sort of like you would find on a Yukon Denali or an Escalade, something like that. Let me know what you think about the exhaust in the comment section, but we got the Obsidian. Guess what? We got new power for 2023 in the L. Let's pop the hood and see what's pumping. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. I love the badging that they put underneath the hood. As a car guy or a car girl, we appreciate this kind of stuff. It shows where it was designed, where it was built, and the new thing for this first look is that engine. And if you notice, things are a little different. What do we got going on? That is a three liter twin turbo straight six, an inline six engine. This is the high output, which means 510 horsepower, 500 and pound feet of torque. If you're wondering, is that more than the 6.4 liter? Yes, it is. The 6.4 liter V8, that is. Torque flight, eight speed automatic, MPGs, 14 in the city, 19 on the highway, 16 combined. The vehicle weighs around 6,700 pounds and can tow up to 10,000 pounds. Now I know that you wanna see this in motion. I wanna give it to you. I'm digging the engine cover, that's for sure. We're gonna be doing a first drive, different review. This one we really wanna focus on what does the Obsidian package bring and what does the interior bring, so stay tuned. I'm giving you your first alert right now. October 12th at 12.01 a.m. We're gonna have the first drive of this. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and see what it looks like in motion. Right, guys we're in this new large and in charge grand wagoneer l and one thing is for certain they are bringing the business not only with the new power but also with the extra room now in this class of vehicle this isn't something new to have an extra big version like a supersized version you look at yukon denali and the XL, you look at the Expedition and the Expedition Max, the Escalade ESV. But I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I really have been wanting one of these. And I just found out that my wife is having triplets on top of the two kids that I already have. We need a big heavy duty machine like this to haul the family around. How much is it? So MSRP, for this particular one, you're looking at right around $109,000. The black obsidian package, part of that $109,000 is $5,500. But let's see how it compares to the other new luxury SUVs that are supersized to the door panels. When you go obsidian, you're getting special touches on the interior. I'm really digging that silver black trim that they got going on with the soft touch material right above it. It looks different than anything else I've seen. You got the seat controls on the door panel. I'll show you what that means once you come inside. A little bit of gloss black around the switch gear. I'm not the biggest fan of. I wish they would have done more of the other material, but I love the contrast stitching. And you have that Macintosh premium sound system with the aluminum finishes. And then of course, the door pocket large enough 
for a Montana original goat calzone. That is special. You can only get them in Montana and a bottle of goat's milk to wash it down in that big cup holder. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, just like we showed you before, you're getting 10.25 inches of screen for your passenger. Fire Stick TV, Amazon, they can watch their shows. This makes every passenger feel like the space is unique to them. And I love the way you easily swipe. The driver cannot see this. It's actually angled to where it just appears all gloss black. I love the Grand Wagoneer name with this obsidian trim package on the interior. Very, very high class, that's for sure. And then talk about high class. This is high class technology. You got the Uconnect 5 system, 12 inches of visual pleasure. I love the way you could have all the different screens set up. If you want navigation, you go to navigation. If you don't want navigation, well, guess what? We could go to something else. I'm gonna hit vehicle. And then now we could actually make different adjustments here. You could actually turn off the passenger screen. I'm gonna show you the surround camera. So we're gonna hit surround camera. Nice resolution, backup, 360. Easy to make your adjustments. Even looking out back. And then to get out of that, you just hit that, hit the X, and look at where we're back. We're right back where we started. I hit home. This is really cool. This is now our off-road pages. Love the graphics, the clarity, vehicle dynamics with the all-wheel drive, accessory gauges. So we have the super high output hurricane engine. You could keep all of the gauges in check. Your pitch, your roll, don't be a pitch. And you can see we're actually angled both ways while Lori is filming right now. That shows she's the best in the biz. Select the train, look at this. It's like playing freaking Tron the video game. Go into all your different settings, suspension mode, and you got the breadcrumbs app to where you could go on your trail and leave yourself those breadcrumbs so you can make it home in one piece. That's smart technology. We got actual physical buttons. If you don't want to hit screen for your dual climate control, down below, same story. You could do AC, and this is another 10.25 inch screen. You could go into your seats, adjust all the seat lumbar. We got massage seats up front, which is really nice. And then you could also make adjustments to the rear. You ready for a little bit of a magic trick? Watch this. Hocus Pocus Alakazam. Hit the button. That's like freaking James Bond, man. We got a 12 volt, USB C's, USB A's, aux jacks, and an HDMI. We got more connections than Radio Shack ever did. That's why they're out of business and Jeep isn't. Even wireless charging in there. So you got your large area. You could basically put one of those ginormous iPad style phones in there to charge it. More physical buttons, we hit that. Dun, 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 just like Mission Impossible closes up. That's gonna control our torque flight, eight speed automatic transmission. You got your different modes, four wheel drive low, hill descent control. You could raise and lower the vehicle all by the flip of a switch. Love the trim. This is what I was telling you about. Look, mom, no fingerprints, finally, which is wonderful. Nice lid, open that bad boy up. Two cup holders. And we got the Grand Wagoneer. Grand Wagoneer key fob, remote start, of course. Close that up. But wait, watch this. We got leather stitching. You want to open up a little door? Open up a little door. You got a USB C, a USB A. You could put a couple matchbox cars in here, maybe some collectible Hot Wheels, and they won't get scratched. I would say you could probably put about a baker's dozen of them in there, which is really nice. And then you ready for this? Boom. Not only is it storage, but it's actually a refrigerator. So you could keep your box of Twinkies, one box of Twinkies, drop them in there, chill them. Nothing like a chilled Twinkie on a hot Montana day up in the mountains. And then look at this, the seats, the stitching, the piping, the Series 2 badge, the leather. This is what they're doing, bringing the competition. And like I said, the controls are on the door. By doing that, the seats are actually wider. They're actually wider, and you got the Grand Wagoneer name on that bottom portion. I'm six feet tall. I'm swimming in freaking space in here. All the Macintosh speakers, I feel like I'm in a movie theater when I'm rocking out to 80s on 8. You got the massive panoramic sunroof. Goes all the way back. I don't want to do that right now because we got to keep this show on the road. And then guess what? The cherry on top of this 
technology tour de force is going to be the digital rear view mirror and there's a washer for that so that's another nice touch but why don't you come over the business end i want to show you what it's like sitting behind the wheel of this grand wagoneer l all right guys business time behind the wheel of this beast two memory seat settings there's those automatic r dropping running boards you got this very tasteful sill plate here obviously remember this is a pre-production so some of these finishes will be a little different we got the grand wagoneer name this does illuminate look at the way they brought the stitching down below a lot of brands forget about this area seats are comfy they're 23 way adjustable believe it or not so you can move them and reposition them 20 different ways from sunday i gotta get this piece of paper out of here i don't even know what that is steering wheel the leather flat bottom to help you get in and out i like the obsidian trim that they add the grand wagoneer name and there's that stitching i'm always talking about see how it makes the horn button look very classy and top notch stitching all the way around it is electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then you got that beautiful digital display nice clear graphics it's got so much information i would have to have a saturday after school special to really kind of showcase everything that this could do here's all your choices i mean the list goes on and on and on really really clear graphics whatever you want you could have it's the burger king of all suvs really really clear on that setup you do have a head up display if that's not enough information and then guess what soft as a pussy cat that alcantara everywhere in here feeling really good let's get into the mid row and see how your passengers are going to enjoy the extra length of this L. all right guys here we are back seat time and i'm telling you the leather is absolutely stunning i want to thank all the cows that sacrificed their lives for these leather seats because they are very comfy look at what we got we have the optional entertainment system 10.25 inch screens for both rear passengers look how clear the resolution is and what's great is you could be watching say the tinder swindler on amazon in your house and then finish it on the interior this is the nice obviously home screen settings there we are you could watch radies rides listen to your amazon music netflix the whole nine yards so easy to use and look at how beefy the actual um, attachment is to where you could tilt it up or down you do have large pockets you could easily fit a three pound bag of goat's teeth Believe it or not, that's actually a good luck charm in Montana is a goat's tooth. So you definitely want to hand those out to people. What I like is that they have the AC vents built into those wider frame rails. You got the oh crap handle as you're going off-roading, watching out for the goats so that you don't you know, run them over. I do like the way there's a dual command center here. So you have your AC vents, more of that obsidian feature. We got USB-Cs, USB-As, and home power source, and a 12-volt. So they got you covered there. Another screen, 10.25-inch, all the seat controls, ventilated seats and heated seats. That means we got 75 inches of screen in this Grand Wagoneer. Two cup holders. I know a lot of people say we talk about junk food. You actually have an apple holder. This is a Montana Select green apple. Mmm. Never done this before in any review. Now I'm choking. Now I know why I haven't done that. But really good apple. You do have the leather, the obsidian. I'm not going to die, which is good on, on chewed up apple. A little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. Open that up. You got a nice little tray for some Skittles. You know what I'm all about. Seeing the rainbow, tasting the rainbow. And then guess what? Open it up. You could easily put, I would say, uh four softballs and here's the big question that i have for everybody out there why do they call softballs softballs i hit somebody in the head with one actually one of my little brothers when i was a when i was a kid and he didn't think it was a softball so you could fit four softballs so when you're done playing with your balls your passengers can put them in there and then of course the seats they tilt whoa i almost thought i was going to flip backwards that's how far they tilt back this is, um, man, this is the lap of luxury here. This is like very comfortable. So they tilt and of course they slide. But what I wanna know is the big question mark, what is going on for the third row passengers? So if you're ready, I'm ready. 
Let's take a bite out of that back seat. Back seat time in this Grand Wagoneer L. Three rows. I'm still chomping on this apple. I can't let it go to waste. It's a Montana gold apple. These are very rare, but here it is. This is where you could sit in the third row. I'm so comfortable. It's ridiculous. My legs are not even close. Look at the way they bring the soft material all the way around. The same great leather, so nobody, it's not like the third row are a bunch of peasants. This is where you put your serfs in the back. It's not like that. Even your favorite kids you'll want to have sit in the back, not just the ones you don't like as much, but even your favorite kids. I've, I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the most comfortable third rows I've ever sat in. And what's even more impressive, we have leather, we have stitching, you got you. So here's the leather, here's the stitching. We got USB A, USB C, and power reclining rear seats. I could actually go a little further back. That to me is unbelievable. And I have my very own glass roof. No, it doesn't open, but if I want to see the rainbow too, there it is the reading rainbow and Alcantara and freaking speakers everywhere. But let's get into the cargo area because they got class leading passenger volume and cargo volume. Let's go check right, it out. guys, time to get into that cargo area. I know we talked about the horsepower, we talked about passenger volume, but this thing, wait until you see it, has cargo volume that's gonna blow your mind. Nice electric assist, lifts up very quickly. One thing I wanna point out, I'm six feet tall, not bumping my head. You've seen it in the blooper sections where I bump my head on some of these tailgates. No worry about that. Look at what we got. With the third row up, with the third row up, what you're looking at is 44.2 cubic feet of space. We're gonna fold down that third row for you. It's gonna give you 88.8 .8 cubic feet of space. Fold down the mid row, it's 130.9 cubic feet of space. Just to give you an idea, with those rows down, you could take sheets of plywood that are four by eight sheets and lay them down totally flat and stack those suckers up. I don't know if you're gonna do it in your Grand Wagoneer, but if you want to, you can. Here's some other nice touches. First of all, you'll see the Macintosh subwoofer for that multi-speaker sound system. Love the way they leave no stone unturned with the design features. I love these sliding rail tie-down locations. So you could actually adjust this and look, it locks into place. You put it down, you could get cargo nets, all sorts of uh, bungee cords and stuff. Very, very smart engineering. And then on the passenger side is where you're gonna find all of our connect connections. You got your 12 volt, and then you got the ability to just put the seats down. To put them down, very simple. We're just gonna hit once, and those seats are gonna fold down. Look at it. Look, mom, no hands. You don't have to stand there and hold it while everybody's running around. Seats fold down. I'm gonna just tap this just to show you totally flat. And Lori's going to showcase how in the back seat, you could see that they got USB-Cs and USB-As, like I pointed out earlier, the AC vents, the stitching, and you actually can move that adjustment, electric adjustment of the back of the seat to recline it a little bit. That's going to allow your rear seat passengers to feel so comfortable in this vehicle. But you know what? This is where you close. If you ever have a Jeep, that's where you hit the button. I know you want to go on throttle. We got that hurricane engine. That's what they call it, the hurricane with those twin turbos, 510 horsepower. I know you want to go on throttle. Like I mentioned, tune in, mark your calendar, carve it in stone, do whatever you need to do to remember October 12th, 2022. When are you going to tune in time? 12.01 a.m. Eastern. So my advice is October 11th, just stay up, fire up the Twinkies, fire up some popcorn, get some Mountain Dew, and we're going to go on throttle. But until that happens, we need to get the show on the road here because uh, they're going to have a cattle run in about 10 seconds. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap it up from Montana. All right, guys, it's been one heck of an adventure out here in the mountains with this first look. Like I said, stay tuned, first drive, October 12th, 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time. I got to thank everybody at Jeep for inviting us to this national media drive. Let me know what you think so far, what you've seen with this 2023 Grand Wagoneer Obsidian 
with the high output engine, that 510 horsepower Hurricane. Does it rock you like a Hurricane? Let me know in that comment section. Is it the best new luxury SUV you would buy? Put it in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to the person that rocks everybody's eyes with that camera. Lori doing the business. Follow her on Instagram, Lori Rady on Instagram. Thank you, Lori, for being the best in the biz. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.